How to Draw St. Basil's Cathedral. We're going to take a trip all the way from Florida to Moscow, Russia, where the St. Basil's Cathedral is located. This is an actual picture that my dad took when he went to Moscow. And that's my dad up there in the corner. We're going to be using the architecture and the geometry and organic shapes in the St. Basil's Cathedral to learn about our project today. Hi friends! Welcome back to Art Class with me, Mrs. Cassins. Today we are going to be exploring shape. And not the kind of shape that uh, happens after we eat too much chocolate, but the kind of shape that happens when we are looking at nature. So today we're going to look at two different types of shapes we're going to be looking at. Geometric shapes and organic shapes. Now organic shapes are things that kind of are blobby or appear in nature. So things like splats, swirls, sometimes leaves, waves, kind of swirls again, and leaves. These are all examples of organic shapes. Can you say organic? Great job. The second type of shape that we're going to look at today is called geometric. Can you say geometric? Nice job. Geometric shapes sometimes have hard edges, and examples of geometric shapes are squares, circles, triangles, re uh, rectangles, or any kind of rhombus. Uh, even pentagons and stars. But first, I'm going to test how much knowledge is in your brain. So I want you to look carefully at your screen, think in your brain, and I want you to call out your answer. Ready? Let's go. Organic v. Geometric. Showdown. Is this geometric or organic? Geometric. Geometric or organic? Geometric. Geometric or organic? Organic. Geometric or organic? Geometric. Geometric or organic? Geometric. Is this geometric or organic? Mm, organic. Here's a trick question. Is this architecture geometric or organic? Geometric. How about this architecture? Geometric or organic? Organic. Well played. Our first step is to write your name and your teacher's name. We're going to be drawing in portrait style, which is long ways. Go ahead, flip your paper over. Now I'll be using a marker, but you'll be using a pencil so that you can erase. Remember that we're going to draw lightly until we get it right. I'm using the guide that you see on the left-hand side of my screen. And if you are a super advanced drawer, you can always follow the guide next to you instead of following along with me. Or if you are a very careful drawer and you wanna get it just right, you can always pause the video. Now, keep in mind that I am filling up my whole page. So the very top of my paper is almost reaching the very top area of my building. We are going to be inspired by drawing three, I'm sorry, four different sections for St. Basil's Cathedral. And I'm gonna be using some organic shapes to make some of the tops. They kind of look like balloons. Two straight lines that go all the way down. And then I'm repeating that on the same side. So my balloon shapes for the very top of my building, an ellipse or a curved line, and then two straight lines. Some scalloped lines, two straight lines, and then repeat the other side. Scalloped lines, straight lines, and 
and then a, an ellipse or a curved straight line, and then two straight lines or vertical lines that go all the way down. Our design is symmetrical, so if you design if you divided it on both sides down the middle, it would pretty much be the same. Now I'm going to draw my fourth balloon type organic shape. It's going to go right in front. A scalloped line again. Two straight lines. An ellipse. And then all the way down to the bottom of our paper. Notice I have a lot of space in the back ground area of my drawing. If you would like to add more um, tiers, you're welcome to. You do not have to copy it exactly like St. Basil's. It's just sort of an inspiration. Now I'm going to be filling up patterns. So I'm going to be adding some different types of lines and different types of patterns, just like in the real St. Basil's Cathedral. two circles on the top. Great job. Now I'm going to start adding some curvy and wavy lines. And then three tiny little rectangular windows. Now on this side of uh, the top, I'm actually going to make a different pattern because you can see that there are actually those different patterns in the real St. Basil's if you look at the tops of those balloons. So there's some different patterns. If you'd like to choose different patterns, you're welcome to do those too. Three tiny little windows. two ellipse lines, our zigzag line, and now I'm going to focus on the center. So I'm going to be doing some cross hatching, which means that I have straight lines that go in one direction and then straight lines that go in another direction. circle for the top. Three tiny windows. Zigzag lines. And I'm done with my first step. Now that I've drawn everything, you're going to actually trace over all of your pencil lines with a Sharpie or dark colored marker.